You might have heard that honeybees, apes, mellifera are in trouble. The main problem is varroa mite. If the beekeepers don't pay attention to the levels of these mites, the results are very clear. Dead honeybee colonies everywhere. Which means no honey, which means no pollination, which means no fruits and vegetables that I love so much. It is a constant battle, making many beekeepers quit beekeeping. With fewer beekeepers, we will have fewer bees, which means less honey, which means less pollination, which means less fruits and vegetables that I love so much. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Umberto Bon Cristiani and this is Inside the Hive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. If you like bees and want to know more about them, please consider subscribing and also hit the bell button so you don't miss a single video. The situation with varroa mites, which are already bad, is getting worse. Because the few solutions we have today, which is a handful of treatments against the mite, are failing. Varroa mites started already to show signs of resistance to many treatments options we have in the market. I can feel the panic already. What are we gonna do to keep the numbers of bees necessary to pollinate all the fruits and vegetables that we love so much? Natural beekeeping cannot even get close to the number of bees that we need. So defeating varroa mite is mandatory at this point and we need to focus. But how can we do that? The great majority of the life cycle of the mite is inside the brood cells, meaning that any intervention against the mite will for sure get in contact with bees of many ages and the products of the hives, and of course could very easily hurt the bees in the process. How can we research compounds, natural or not, capable to hurt varroa mite only, leave the bees alone and protected? This is the challenge. Researchers around the world are looking into this, myself included, and I believe some researchers are getting closer to a new solution that I will talk about in a moment. The problem to speed up this kind of research is first, funding, and second, human resources. It's really hard to find people that know bees enough to do a good job. The beekeeping industry is not that big as other industries capable to attract big investments, and most of the time, non-profit organizations need to jump in and work hard to help the industry. This brings me to the sponsor of this video, Project APSM. Project APSM, better known as PAM, is the go-to organizations at the interface of research, honeybees, and agriculture. Since 2006, they have in infused over $10 million into honeybee research and $2.9 million into forage programs. If you want to help me making more videos here on YouTube to everybody, please consider supporting Project APIS M with a small donation. To know more about Project APIS M, please visit projectapism.org. One of PEM's funded projects, a collaboration between Dr. Steve Pernal, a research scientist at Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, a government institution, and Dr. Erica Plettner, a chemist from Simon Fraser University, got my attention recently. They are screening different compounds against varroa mites, and apparently two compounds start to show some interesting results already. The compounds 3C36 and 3C66 it started to show some effects against varroa mite replication and this is very exciting. I know the name is terrible, but I have hope they're gonna change this soon and make my life much easier to say those names. 36363 3C, see, is a, a mess, you, you have to change that. After investigating the information I got, I have to say I have more questions than answers and I have to go to the bottom of this. I invited Dr. Pernal and Dr. Plettner for a live stream on my channel and of course, all you guys at home are welcome to join us for this debate about the project. The live stream, as always, is free to everybody and is scheduled for December 8th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Please sign up for the event clicking in the link in the description of this video so you can receive more information about the event and be notified in case things change. I'm looking forward to see everybody there. Thanks for watching. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about beasts. See you guys next week.